day of this year and made it legitimate so I wouldn't be a bootleg injury connection person. Okay. And um, actually, I did it at the urging of uh, my business partner and friend, uh, Dr. James O'Reilly, who said that you know I should go ahead and, and open up a business because things were going really well in, in our business partnership. And so I did. You know, I'm kind of scared, apprehensive. First time, you know, I've, I've owned my comedy business for a while, but it's not registered with the state per se, you know. So I've been an entrepreneur in that respect. But this personal injury uh, arena is a billion dollar industry. Wow. You know, it really is. And um, I'm good at what I do. You know, all glory to God. I don't take any. Well, what do you do? I mean, what do you do? Well, what we do is we um, solicit okay. accident victims as well as workman's comp victims. Okay into our network, which we help them with their injury, obviously, first of all, and then their settlement. Okay. We walk them through the steps, kind of grab them by the hand and say, let's go on this journey together and reap the harvest at the end of the rainbow. Now, 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 you're not an ambulance chaser, are you? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. How do you go about finding these victims? Well, the actual, well you know what? Um, there are several avenues. Um, like I said, my, my Cleveland Injury Connection has a Facebook page. Okay. Um, I'm also on Twitter. Okay. And um, had a commercial on Fox. We're about to go on Channel 43 in October. And the accident reports actually become public record eight days after the accident. Okay. And so we go down to the Justice Center, Center and, 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 and pay a Nicola Page for right. public records, the accident reports, and we just call people and say, hey, how you feel after your accident? And we advise them other rights moving forward and ask if we can come in and have a free exam, a consultation with Dr. O'Reilly or Dr. Mooney okay. um, at our office and um, take it from there. Now, the, now, now, Dr. O'Reilly, exactly what type of medicine do you practice? We, we have an integrative approach where yeah. we have uh, medical doctors, physical therapists, acupuncturists, and chiropractors. Okay, and you are... I'm a chiropractor. You're, you're, you're a chiropractor. Yep. Now, in this uh, doctor... But you're not a lawyer, are you? No, no. So I, I've you, needed one several times in my life. Yeah, but <laughs> so how do you represent a, uh, we, a client? We, we refer. We refer. Oh, um, I, I, I'm the marketing arm for Dr. O'Reilly's office. Okay. And, and, and our vision to kind of change the game in Cleveland. Right now, it's, it's very cutthroat. Um, a lot of people are very disingenuous on the phone. They say things that are not true just to get people in because a lot of people that do this are working for commission. Okay. I don't work for commission. I get paid whether they come in or not. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have any reason to lie to them. We speak truth. Dr. Rye is a Christian. I'm a Christian. So, of course, I'm not going to lie and misrepresent the process on the telephone with someone. And so, luckily, God has given me a personality that's pretty likable to a diverse group of people. So I just start to have a conversation, talk with them, kind of unpack what actually happened in the accident, how they're feeling as far as their body is concerned, and then we bring them in, do an exam, and then Dr. Riley will make a referral to an attorney based on his findings in that examination. Now, now Doc, tell me something. In your uh, area of practice, um, so I take it that everybody that comes to you really needs uh, yeah. Yeah. help in, in a sense. And I wanted to talk, because you, you mentioned something to me about holistic medicine. Mm -hmm. What is holistic medicine? Holistic medicine is, although the person might have an injury, there could be other health issues that may be subclinical, the symptoms aren't showing yet, uh, and just treating the person in the entirety and not just their, their injury, not just their shoulder or their ankle, but the whole person. Amen. So is, is there some sort of spiritual consultation that, that you also provide for certain uh, clients or I've done that over the phone. Um, a, a, a lot of times, you know, that, that happens because, like I said, I, I don't just – a lot of these people that are in this industry in Cleveland, I trained back in 2011 when I started. I worked as a consultant for another call center, and that's how I got an interest and in even an awareness about personal injury. And so I trained a lot of these people, and the people prior to me coming in and writing the script and writing rebuttals and kind of adding their professionalism mm -hmm. to it, you know, with my 20 years of experience in call center management, they were very, um, let's say, uh, non-professional in their approach on the telephone. Give me an example. I'm sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> is you injured? <laughs> How you is doing? Uh, are we going to get you taken care of? I said, taken is not a word. Right, if somebody right, says right. taken on the phone, right, you they're either a rapper right. trying to rhyme with Brooklyn or you need to hang up the phone. Right, right. You right. know, so uh, I just try to, you know, make it professional, uh, you know, because my, my experience in corporate America and corporate calling, call center management, 
just I, I just couldn't take some of the things that were going on, you know. And so what I did was I kind of disconnected myself uh, when my contract ended from from that call center. But a lot of those same people are still on the phone, still calling. So what I do is kind of reassure the people because typically what happens in, in, in call center or telemarketing is when the first person they talk to, that's who they tend to go with. Right. But I'm able to, because of my honesty and because of my integrity and my professionalism, I can come behind people that have already set appointments and kind of unpack the disingenuous information they've been given and get them to come to us. Now, doesn't um, uh, okay, issues with like workers' comp, you got to have a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, you said you farm that work out or you have a lawyer on your on your staff. Oh, sure. Now, there, there's no lawyers on our staff, but we know all the attorneys in Cleveland that are going to fight hard for people uh, and do the right thing. A lot of times they get people get hooked up with a, a big law firm who they don't care. They're, people are just another number to them. And we know guys who they're going to show up to show up to your hearing. They're going to show up to your court. And uh, with the workers' comp, it's kind of controlled. You know, people don't realize you can go to any workers' comp provider in Ohio that you'd like to. You don't have to go to the doctor that your employer sends you to. So I often see things where uh, a person might be diagnosed with a knee sprain, and it's a torn ACL or torn meniscus, and then people will just send them back to work and, and not get them help, and they're like, hey, my knee's still bothering me. No, it's only a sprain. You're fine. Uh, uh, and, and so we we make sure our people get taken care of, that we give them the right diagnostic test, MRIs or CAT scan, and there's a lot of people that come to my office that I don't treat, that they're just not in my area of expertise. Sometimes they need an internal medicine doctor. I know the doctors in Cleveland that are accepting new patients that are good doctors and will take care of people. So even if a person doesn't have something we treat in our office, we're going to make sure that they get taken care of. No, no, doc, I got I got to know. I got to find this out, man. How much of my money y'all going to take? We're not going to take your money. You're not yeah. going to take my money. No, we're going to earn it. Here, <laughs> <laughs> Here's how, you know, the, the stats from Allstate, and Allstate, they're an insurance company. They've been in the game in Ohio for over 100 years, and they settle about 92% of their claims for between $4,000 and $6,000, regardless, 92%. And that means out of that 8% remaining, some of them settle for less than that. So you have to have a proper diagnosis and, and be treated appropriately in order for your claim to have any kind of settlement. Okay. And and that's one thing that we specialize in is we make sure we diagnose you properly and get you the treatment that you need uh, to get back where you were before the accident. And then the attorney Absolutely. handles the settlement issue. Absolutely. All right. So 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 help me understand something, Levance. Mm-hmm. Because I mean I mean Doc almost got me convinced, but I, I'm not 100 percent convinced yet. Okay. I get hurt. Okay. I get a call from Levance Lining. Mm-hmm. Levance Lining convinces me that I need to see. The doctor. Mm-hmm. Is my insurance paying this, or am I paying this out of pocket? Well, it's two different scenarios. Um, typically, the easiest person, the person that everyone in this industry goes after, is the person that was not at fault in an accident. Now, there is a caveat with that because I would say thirty to forty percent of the people driving in the city of Cleveland and the surrounding suburbs don't have auto insurance. Okay. So. And they're usually the worst drivers, typically. Okay. You know, and so if the person hits you, you're not at fault, hits you from behind, T-bones you, whatever, has insurance, then their insurance will cover your treatment and your settlement. The only time that we access your insurance is if it was a hit skip and the person absconded from the scene, or if you're in a one car accident by yourself, maybe you uh, were distracted, maybe you were sure, um, sure, in sure. a diabetic coma like I was back in 2008 and, and told my car I don't remember anything that happened. Right. You know, if, in that case, then of course we would tap into your insurance policy to cover your treatment and or settlement if it applies. You know, but a lot, like I said, a lot of these companies misrepresent what they can do. They want you to go to their doctor because they, they have to feed their kids and they'll tell you anything. They'll send you to Dr. Seuss, Dr. Dre, whoever, okay. to get you into their office, into their system. You know, okay. and, and typically it's too late, you know, once you get involved in it. But I, I, I've actually pulled people from a negative situation into a better situation. And I explained to them, just like doctors told you what the average settlement is, I tell people this up front. You know, a lot of these commercials on television, they misrepresent um, settlement amounts. I've heard a guy say, you know, um, such and such got me $750,000. Yeah. But the only way you're going to get $750,000 from a personal injury claims if your accident was with a jet 
um, the Thunderbirds, um, U.S. Air, mm -hmm. um, Continental, right. and you didn't survive the accident. Okay. And so you won't get it. Your family will get it. Yeah. So that's the truth. You know? Okay. So, so here, let, let me give you a hypothetical mm -hmm. here. Tell me what you guys do for me. At the air show. Mm hmm Arrive there, sitting in the nice uh, uh, barnstormer area there. Mm -hmm. Sit down, and bam, mm -hmm. cheer goes, breaks right, mm -hmm. right, right under my butt. Okay. Guy rushes over. I'm not with the um, the catering. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the caterer, but I, I didn't supply the cheers. Okay. That's the first thing he wanted to say. Right. And then the lady came over and said, "You want to take an accident report?" Mm -hmm. I said, "Sure." Mm -hmm. Do I have a case? That's a good question, and you might have a case, but you might not either. Uh, and so my aspect would be seeing, you know, to, to your physical ailments, getting you better, and that's where we refer to the attorney. And the attorney is going to guide you through that process. And he'll and determine, determine uh, if you have a case. Or who's right. liable? You know, okay. who's liable? Is it is it the caterer? Is it the the owner of the venue? Okay. You know, um, that provided the absolutely the right, right, right. Is it yeah, Abel Rents or whoever? Right. You know, it is that that provided that, but and everybody's of course going to try to hands off. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what did you do to the chair? You know, nobody else fell. Well, I, I fell. Yeah, well, the chair was rusted. Hey, absolutely, absolutely. But like I said, I, I try to steer people away, like 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 Doc alluded to earlier, away from the larger law firms because you get lost in the shuffle. You're never going to talk to the people on the commercial. Yeah. You're going to talk to a paralegal. You're going to talk to an assistant. Okay. And they they are they're too big of an organization to care about you as a person. You know, you have two years to settle a personal injury claim and they'll take a, the bulk of that two years. Just because you're not the only you're not the only uh, dog in the race. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? They have a lot of other stuff going on, they have a lot of bigger cases that are drawing more attention than your little four thousand dollar case. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so you're not gonna get the attention that you would with a uh, an a, a, a one attorney office okay. that has one assistant that's going to take your hand and walk you through the case. So those are the type of attorneys we refer to. Okay, and and, 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 and what about workers' comp? I just want to touch on that because that seems like that is the bureaucracies of bureaucracies. I mean, you got so much red tape mm -hmm. and so many rude people answering the phone. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? It is, a, it is a bureaucracy like you talked about, and they mixed the legal system and the medical system, and, it, and they made it a mess. So instead of me just being able to treat the injury like I normally would, uh, you have to take a lot of legal steps, fill out the proper forms, and that's where a lot of people go into medical doctors or the company's doctor, uh, they get shortchanged because those doctors are not going to fill out the forms that are needed and, and right. progress their case and get them that MRI that they need or get them to the surgeon that they need. Or get them a settlement because you have to realize um, if, the, if the company sends you to their doctor, their doctor is working for that company and their obligation is to get you back to work ASAP and minimize your injury um, to the company and say, oh, Jeff's okay, his leg isn't that broken, let's get him back in there Friday, you know, and you're, you're like limping, you know, and, and the average um, the average person in Cleveland, because this is an at-will work state, is thinks their job is on the line if they don't comply with what the, their company's in, uh, doctor is telling them to do, you know, but like Doc said, you can go to any workman's comp provider in the state of Ohio for your workman's comp injury, okay. not necessarily who your company refers you to, but, you know, you don't be intimidated by going somewhere else where you feel comfortable. But can you, if you get hurt on the job, can you sue your employer? You cannot sue your employer if you do a workers' comp. If you don't do a workers' comp, then that would be a separate issue. Uh, but yeah, for unless they're they're grossly negligent in, in the reason you got injured. Most injuries aren't like that, though. Okay, gotcha. Because I, that reason I asked that question, my wife... Mm -hmm. was injured on her job. She mm -hmm. worked for, for City of Cleveland. She was walking in the kitchen area. She slipped and fell on some, some water and ice that was left on the floor. Mm -hmm. She had a vase. The vase fell as well. She tore her hand up real bad. And she had to get surgery and tendons and things uh, reconnected. Mm -hmm. And they wanted her off for four weeks. Yeah. And, I mean, she really had a go of it, you know, mm -hmm. with her boss and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Uh, but now that she went back to work, they see... That, oh, your hand is really yeah, messed something, up. Yeah, something is amiss. Even after yeah. four weeks, it's right. still not not mm -hmm. functions. Mm -hmm. She does a lot of typing and things like that. Wow. So, you know, I guess you guys really provide a great service to help those who yeah. are in, in need of help. And, and it's, it's not only that, it's, it's education as well. Yeah. You know, like I tell people all, all the time, I was... Uh, 
I met my first chiropractor when I was in an accident, like I said, in 2011. Yeah. And just, you know, just through me going to therapy, I was having conversations. He asked me what my background was. I, of course, you know, call, I was managing the call center at the time. Mm -hmm. And so he kind of, um, well, it was a money thing for me. He paid me more money than the call center was paying me. He okay. said, come train my call center. That's how I got started in this process. You know, and so education is always a big piece for me. Like I tell people all the time, and sometimes it works um, against me as far as me getting people into our network. But I tell people the truth. I said, look. This is your, what your right is. A lot of people sign with attorneys. They're intimidated. They think because I signed a paper or contingency agreement with an attorney, I have to stay with that attorney. I've seen people fire what four or five attorneys in oh, one yeah. in one case up until they go to court right. and fire them in court. Right. You know, and so yeah, I can see Shook Knight do something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, you see him crying. <laughs> like, everybody in this process, right. accident, accident victims, works for you. Right. They work for you, both the doctor and the attorney, because you wouldn't have met them had you not had your accident. That's and so, right. do not be intimidated to find someone that you are better fit with, or that makes you feel the way you want to feel in this process. So, so this is great. So I can come to you guys. You, you give me a call. I, I put my case in your hands. Mm -hmm. I, I put my back. We provide in your free hands. transportation to and from our appointments. Wow! Where really? can you get that? Where can you get that? Wow! Where can you get that? That is that is great. Now now is it on RTA or is it a vehicle? That well, we refer you to the b closest bus line. <laughs> <laughs> no, we <laughs> actually have, pass, right? no, we have we have two I'm um, just two. I know I know. Uh -huh. but I just want to say we have two two cab drivers. Oh wow! Um, to work for us, so you know we'll, we'll come get you. That's for your awesome. appointment, drop you off. You know, because a lot of people, a lot of times, people, um, their insurance company's dragging their feet, getting their car repaired. Yeah. Or the person that hit them didn't have insurance. Right. And now, so, where are you guys located? Uh, 6829 Broadway. We're right across from Central Catholic. Okay. So right in front of Metro, nine. right in front of Metro Health in the plaza. Metro Health is on Broadway? Yes. yes. There is a check smart and a daycare right next to us. We're in between. Oh wow, that's great! So, and how do people get in contact with you? I thought I saw a commercial you had. I haven't Co seen. Yes, that yes, one. yeah, the commercial. Uh, um, is, like is, is this one of your commercials here? Maybe you can can tell me. Uh, this is this one of your commercials here? It's probably the only one. <laughs> oh, um, uh, the, I, I don't know which uh, which one are you showing? Uh, before uh, I show workers, if you've been in that's one of ours. Yeah. That, that that was our first commercial. That was your first commercial. That's our first commercial. Oh, well, well, let me let me show that to the audience right quick. Folks, you can uh, uh, watch this. Workers, if you've been injured on the job, call 877-54-INJURY. Get your injury properly diagnosed. Help with filing a worker's comp claim and an attorney that will actually be on your side. Call the Cleveland Injury Connection, 877-54-INJURY. Well, that is great. And you did one too, didn't you, Levan? Yes, I, I did. I can't find it. No yes, way. I did. Look up Injury Connection. Injury Connection. Injury Connection on YouTube. We're going to look up Injury Connection on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And and I, I was... I, I, I or either Cleveland Injury Connection. Maybe under Cleveland Injury Connection. Okay. We're going to look up Injury Connection. And, and now, Levance, mm -hmm. now this is your... Now, you own... Uh, the Injury Connection. Yes, I do. Injury yes, I do. Connection. And me and Dr. O'Reilly are partners in this uh, business venture to kind of level the playing field in Cleveland to make sure that the accident victims and workman's comp, you know, accident victims are compensated correctly, are physically restored to their pre-accident or injury condition, and they're happy at the end of the day. You know, if you okay. treat people right, they'll refer to their friends, their family, and they'll come back to you, you know, God forbid if something else happens to them again. Well, I, well, I guess, let me just turn it over. Well, what, I, what I'd like to know also, too, um, are you hiring folks? Well, you know what? Um, I just had a big hiring when I first started my company. I have a lot of nieces and nephews, okay. um, and, right. and as well as my son Terrell. And so, you know, not right now. Um, the winter time comes; it's a busy season. A lot of accidents, of course, unfortunately, um, in the city because of the slow s snow removal and the large snowfalls that we have. So there's always an opportunity, you know, for um, articulate, professional-sounding people on the phone to come and be a part of what I do. Okay, so it's so. So are you opening a call center, or are they working? You know what? Um, you know what? Um, right now, I have what is called a virtual call center, where okay. people work from home. Okay, Everything cool. is online; they can access reports and and call. You know, but actually, I want to have a call center because the synergy from a call center is what breeds productivity. Right. You know, you got people listening to success. You can emulate what you hear someone else doing that works on the phone. Right. Yada yada yada, and move on. So that's that's, that's my um, short term goal is to have a call center um, sometime this winter. Well, Levance, man, I think that that is that is so wonderful that you both are teaming t together and and helping our our local folks here mm -hmm. uh, get better. 
Right. Um, I I was surprised and only. Four to six thousand dollars is normally what's available. Yeah, for well, person not, not seven hundred and fifty thousand. Right? I mean, I'm watching these television commercials. Yeah, I, yeah. I won't. He got it. me ninety eight thousand dollars. Yeah, you got. <laughs> yeah, he got me a hundred thousand dollars. You know, fifty thousand dollars. Right, and really, right, right. It's it's it's, it's much 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 they're, less. They're not, than that. It, it's 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 dishonesty with a purpose. The purpose is to get you to come in and sign that agreement, and hopefully. You're intimidated by it, and you stay with them through the process because they'd rather get 33% of 6,000 than 33% of nothing if you don't come to them. And so they're willing to do whatever, and there are no checks and balances for attorneys. Now they they check and balance chiropractors rigorously, the chiropractic right. board, but lawyers can pretty much say what they want to say because they are, you know, right. um, they know the law. And how long have you been practicing? 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. So you've sort of gone through that that. That process of when people would look at chiropractors as, you know, yeah. There, there's some people, but that, that's kind of more that's in the past. past yeah. Yeah, and people realize that our level of education is on par with uh, any other MD. We actually have more radiology. We have uh, more anatomy and physiology than MDs. And, uh, you know, my, my degree took me seven and a half years. Wow. And that's just, you know, the same length as it does a regular MD. So. And, as, and as we get ready to close, what I normally do in the beginning of the show, I'm going to do at the end of the show, is you both are Christians, mm -hmm. which, which speaks a lot to our audience. Uh, that means that there's a level of integrity and trust that should be there. But tell us, how did you come to Christ, LeVans? <laughs> Which time? I think I've been baptized four, four times and just saved six. Um, um, nineteen ninety, I moved from Cleveland to Atlanta. Um, I was totally outside of the will of God. Had no relationship. Knew God existed and always had God's favor on my life. Never knew what it was. Just mm -hmm. thought I was lucky. And uh, moved to Atlanta, Georgia, and um, went to a Bible study. Actually, stayed in a homeless shelter. Wow. Actually, it was a shelter where I don't know if you remember the guy that was killing kids in Atlanta. They turned one of the schools that they found one of the kids in into a homeless shelter for families. Okay. And so I moved down there. I stayed there, you know, humbled myself, stayed there, heard Bible study. A church came and did Bible study, and that was the first time I heard the word of God, and it spoke to me. Wow. It was like he knew my story, and I was like, wow. And so um, it was March 1990, and I have uh, had a relationship with God ever since, and I, read the, I was reading the Bible. I've always been an avid reader. Thanks to Ridland um, mm -hmm. growing up. But um, I read the Bible cover to cover. I was just so engrossed and I wanted to know, because I was such a great sinner, I want to be a great Christian. Great Christian yeah. You know, and so I, I really did devour the word and I've been on fire for God. Um, and the fire, the, the levels of fire varies yeah, over the years, sure. you know, um, as, as life goes on, you know. But um, now that I've established myself and I have a, a real relationship with God, it's, it's the best thing ever. Amen. Dr. Riley? A lot of times people do have stories of, uh, you know, dramatic turnarounds, and uh, that, that wasn't really the case for me. You know, I grew up in a Christian family, and I always knew Christ was the Son of God, and uh, <clears throat> but I didn't really know him. And so uh, when you first start to learn about Christ, they say, hey, you should be like Christ. You should try to imitate him. And it, as, a, as a young kid... How are you going to do it? You're going to try to uh, duplicate his miracles. Right. And find out, oh, I, can't do that. I can't walk on water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this water is still water. <laughs> yeah, and so you know, and you keep trying, and then uh, in my case, I realized that I that I failed, and there's a lot of mistakes, and it was almost like even though I knew Christ, I was trying to take control of my own life and and progress myself through life without His help, and you just make more and more errors, and but just through stay reading the Bible, and I found out. You know, I, I'm not this sinner. I've already been forgiven by Christ. And that this is the way that God looks at me. He doesn't see my sins. He sees that his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, and that's something that really helped me. Amen. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for thank sharing you your for business, us. sharing your testimonies, sharing your, uh, your your love for the people out there. Let me and, get our phone number, and, too. And we want to make sure well. folks will, 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 will call you. 800-390-0971. 800-390-0971. That is our toll-free number to call in uh, with workman's comp questions or issues and personal injury. Workman's, you know, injury questions, concerns, or to set up an appointment for it to come in. Or you can call my cell phone for the injury connection at 216-333-7553, 24-7. 
If I don't answer, I'll listen to your message, call you right back, and answer your question honestly, with integrity, and take care of you so you won't have anything bad to say about the injury connection or Broadway Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. And you said you can you can be reached on Facebook as well. As well, Cleveland Injury Connection on Facebook. On Facebook. They can just follow you on yep. that as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, hey, here again, that was uh, LeVance Lining and Dr. O'Reilly. Is it O in front of it? Yep. Dr. O'Reilly sharing with you the injury connection right here live on KAZ Radio. Y'all have a good night. I didn't want to ask you about a website because I know you don't have it.